G'day guys, hope you're doing well. We have been blessed with a new content update for Don't Starve Together called Waterlogged, which is currently in the beta branch. I'm going to take you through everything there is to see in this update in its current state. It is of course open to changes over the course of the beta period and even after the official release. Any changes to things I talk about in this video will be listed below in a pinned comment. So. There's a brand new biome in the ocean, which quite frankly is unlike anything we've seen in Don't Starve Together so far. You'll notice straight away after entering the waterlogged biome, there is a canopy, which may look a bit familiar if you've ever played the Hamlet DLC, but is really cool to have in this game as well. And at the heart of this new biome, you'll find a few giant tree trunks, which are what's providing the shade, but there is plenty more going on around here. You have knobbly trees, mossy vines with figs growing on them, we'll get to them in a minute, sea strider nests with a brand new type of water spider, there are grass gators which are essentially leafy meat water koalaphants, and even a new type of ocean fish, the sweetish fish. And all of this is condensed into a little pocket of the ocean of which you can find a couple around the map initially. I say initially because you can recreate your very own waterlogged biome as well. If you hit the giant tree trunk with your boat, among the assortment of items that fall there will be a knobbly tree nut which you will need to fish out of the water with a pinch and winch. Using the same winch you can drop it wherever you like in the ocean and after a few days you will have your very own knobbly tree, although obviously this is much smaller than the tree you'd like. In order to get your knobbly tree to grow, you'll have to fertilize it with the new tree jam, which as you can guess is crafted from figs as well as glomer's goop. Keep fertilizing the tree until you can't anymore and then wait a few days for it to change color. You'll have to fertilize it again, wait some more and repeat this process a few times until it grows into an above average tree trunk. And as far as I'm aware, there's no way to get the giant tree trunk itself, so this will have to do for now. It still provides an area of shade which can keep you cool in summer and can extend over the land depending on where you grow the tree, but unfortunately it doesn't come with the rest of the biome stuff like the vines, figs and animals, which is a real shame and I'm hoping this is something that will change in the future. And it's worth mentioning the new creatures a little bit more. I'm sure you guys remember last month we had the Weber rework which introduced switcher doodles into the game. And this new spider has its own switcher doodle as well if you wanted to make any friends while you're out on the open seas. As far as stats goes, they don't really have that much to boast about. With 200 health and an attack that deals 20 damage, they're essentially a regular spider that can walk on water. Same kind of deal with the grass gator. Like I said, it's very similar to a koala fin, but drops leafy meat instead of regular meat, as well as a few grass and twigs. Funnily enough, the gators can use a salt lick, and they consume salt lick at the same rate as a koala fin. Sadly, it doesn't drop a koala fin trunk, which I guess makes sense because it isn't a koala fin, but is unfortunate because you can now put those trunks in a crock pot, and there is even a new crock pot dish that incorporates them specifically. The fig stuffed trunk is one of four new meals that come with this update, all of which require figs as the main ingredient. Figs can only be found in the original waterlogged biomes as they cannot be replanted or grown in soil, making these dishes quite bothersome to cook. Unless you happen to be passing by or have decided to live out on the water, I don't think they would be especially viable in the game's current state, despite the fact that some of these dishes are quite decent. Figs can also be used as bait for ocean fishing and are important for catching the sweetish fish in the waterlogged biome. They do however spoil in 3 days when raw and 1 and a half days when cooked, so you won't have them around for very long unless you bundle them up. Besides the crockpot dishes, tree jam is probably the best use for figs and is something that does not spoil. Not only does it help the knobbly trees grow, but you can use it to speed along the growth of any tree. It can also be used as a fertilizer for growing crops and for healing wormwood for 35 health. Along with the new content in this update, there's been a bit of an overhaul to the way that boats work as well. The speed cap has been increased significantly, making ocean travel much more enjoyable, even with the basic ore, 
but especially with sails. Boats will also come to a complete stop on their own, meaning your boat bridges should be quite safe without needing an anchor on every single boat. And disconnecting while on a moving boat will no longer pop you back at the portal when you reconnect. You'll return to the same boat. I know some people use this as a way of getting back home quickly and might be disappointed at the change, but I still think it's for the best. And I've been saving what may end up being the best change for last. Don't Starve Together can now run in 64-bit. To be honest, I didn't even realize it was still running in 32-bit until this update. What this means exactly from a technical standpoint goes a little bit over my head, but from what I can understand, it should allow the game to run smoother going forward for a lot of people and also allow the devs to include more substantial assets in the game. Of course, take this with a massive grain of salt, but I'm very excited. I've had quite a few issues with long running worlds just becoming too much for the server or my computer to handle, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this is part of a solution to that. So yeah, that's it for this update. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Personally, while I can't see myself heading out to this biome a whole heap, I'm happy to have it there and I hope there is more of this stuff coming in the future. I'll hopefully see you guys in the future as well. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.